right, you take the good, you take the bad. Um, I guess this is just the bad. Tootie Ramsey from Facts of Life um, should be Kim Fields as Tootie Ramsey from Facts of Life. But as you can see, we don't have any any photo of uh, said Kim Fields, uh, actress um, known for her role as Tootie on Facts of Life, aforementioned, and on uh, Living Single, if you are if you remember the 90s. Um, in the 90s kind of world, glad I got my girls. Um, so this is Tootie. Again, we have a Amigo figure that where we couldn't get the fucking licensing rights to, you know, for the actors and actresses that played the parts, um, that made the parts, and um, you shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done it. But but moving on, let's take a look here. Of course, all individually numbered. This one is 2,270 out of uh, fucking 10,000. I wish it had been 2,222 because it's 2D and I paid $2 uh, for this figure um, on... Uh, clearance so yeah yeah big fucking collectibles guys great job um selling these things never had a commercial on tv never saw an ad in a comic book never fucking saw anything um telling me that these things were out and about um i had to discover them in the store um if you look on the back side of the box we see the same shit that we see on all these especially the ones where we don't fucking have the licensing rights from the actors or actresses in this case, we have these lovely fucking clip art uh, fucking cross sell. Uh, Blair, uh, Tootie, and Joe. There's a, a credit card <laughs> and some roller skates and a, and a motorcycle helmet. Um, and, and noticing you could have at least fucking given her goddamn roller skates, but I notice there are none. Um, she's just got regular old shoes on. And um, hopefully we have a right foot and a left foot. Um, that might not be the case, but we'll find out when we open it up. Here at the top of the box, it says, There's going to be trouble. And make it double, because it's 2D. Um, on the back side, officially licensed, detailed 8-inch character. Authentic retro packaging. What the fuck does that mean? Um, this does not look like the retro packaging or the packaging from back in the day. Um, and you can call it authentic. But why? But because it was made by Mego, was made by the company. Well, isn't it all authentic packaging then? Like the company that made the thing. Never mind. All right, pose figure in any action position. Um, it's probably wrong. Uh, original Mego toy line and quality, we all know that's bullshit. Limited edition, numbered for collectability, that's true, technically. Collect them all, so says Mego Marty. <laughs> So there he is, um, and we have the blurb here um, that, that says he's the father of the fucking action figure, which is also bullshit. And here's some more bullshit. Um, hey, join the official Mego fan club at Mego.toys. Don't go to that website because it doesn't fucking exist. All right, so let's get this fucking thing open and see what it looks like inside. So I couldn't get the goddamn thing to stand up, so I, I put it on a stand here, and and uh, and you know instead of just standing there, there like fucking all stiff and shit. How about we put her in a in a fucking action pose? Because you can put these figures in any action pose. So says Migo Marty. Any action pose. But that's uh, what, what it says on the box. But uh, looking at the figure here, she's got her uniform. She comes with this, um, this little book, this little, uh, um, little notebook, I guess, that you would use in school. Um, these things are, are, are it's, you know, it's just worthless shit, you know? And, and I got to think that it added to the price 
that these things go for because everything that sells well has to subsidize the things that don't. This was one of the things that don't, and they should have known. They should have known that making fucking figures um, that don't look like who they're supposed to be weren't gonna sell. Like, it was already a small market of people that were going to buy fucking facts of life action figures, right? It was a small market of people that remember the show and that cared enough to spend, you know, $9.99, $12.99, $14.99, depending on where you bought the fucking thing. Uh, I got it for two bucks. But yeah, depending on where you got the thing at retail, at Target or whatever, or online, um, they would have had to wanted to spend the money to get one of these goddamn things. And, and why would they want to spend the money if it didn't look like who it was supposed to be. Now, it doesn't look bad. She doesn't look hideous or anything like that, but it doesn't look like the fucking character, and that's my fucking point. If you couldn't do it right, don't do it at all. Um, so let's take a look at the, the costume is actually pretty nice. Um, you've got the little, the, the tie, sort of in the loose tie, um, and the little uh, vest here, like the school uniform um, that she's wearing. And um, it's, you know, it's a nice material. It lays good on the figure. Um, she has painted uh, legs for her uh, socks um, and little feet that go in these tiny shoes. I do believe she has a left foot and a right foot and both feet are attached. Um, so it didn't chip broken. Um, it's got the, you know, the posability is great. Like these things, they pose pretty well. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff with them. And, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with the, with the bodies. I do wish that they were all the type S or the uh, ball jointed figures as opposed to the elastic band ones. But the, a lot of times, especially on these girl ones, it doesn't necessarily matter. They do seem super posable and you can get, you know, nice poses out of them. They can do whatever you really need them to do um, as far as action poses are concerned. She can dive, she can fly, she can do everything except for look like fucking Kim Fields apparently because this is fucking Tootie. Um, another thing I noticed, hey look, the, on the girl figures, they paint on underwear and they make them kind of ruffly. And then if we look here, we can see the, the shoddy craftsmanship. Um, the, the skin's all like fucked up underneath those like she had it's like she's a goddamn I don't know if it's coming up on camera but she looks like a fucking burn victim um that's sad uh but whatever all in all it's another fucking uh you know custom fodder Mego figure um uh, if you didn't care about fucking <laughs> facts of life and who does anymore um and it's not like you know and you also this is a fucking show that was on for nine years has like you know fucking 10 main characters on it and Mego does three they do three fucking no mrs garrett no Natalie, because there's not a female fat body, apparently. Um, there's no uh, Chloris Leachman, no uh, little kid that lived with them later on. Um, I am kind of familiar with fucking Facts of Life, by the way, just to let you know. Um, and so, yeah, no, no Molly Ringwald. Can you believe that shit? But anyway, it's, it's fucking, um, this is 2D from the Facts of Life, um, but it's not Kim Fields, uh, because... Who, and if I was Kim Fields, I wouldn't want to fucking sign off on these piece of shit figures either.